Santa Fe, New Mexico is a tourist destination like no other. This state capital rebuilt itself from a recession more than 100 years ago by focusing on tourism. With art, history, good food, nature, and unique architecture, it's worth seeing how Santa Fe earned its nickname, The City Different. Here are the best things to do in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Canyon Road Santa Fe is considered one of the great artistic hubs of the world. It's recognized as part of UNESCO's Creative Cities Network for this reason. One of the best things to do in Santa Fe is to visit Canyon Road, where guests can immerse themselves in the dynamic and diverse art scene. More than 100 galleries, collections, and art stores exhibit pieces along this road. As you walk through, you'll get to see pieces ranging from local Pueblo pottery, Native American-style textiles, paintings by internationally renowned artists, and so much more in every medium. Canyon Road also hosts events regularly, and there are plenty of restaurants to choose from. You'll be able to appreciate the unique architecture of Santa Fe while exploring the art scene that put the city on the map. Puye Cliff Dwellings the records of human habitation in New Mexico span hundreds if not thousands of years, and the Puye Cliff Dwellings allow you to experience this firsthand. Located less than an hour from Santa Fe, this landmark combines historical learning with a hike, taking you into some stunning scenery. This location is home to hundreds of ancient houses, some cut directly into the cliff face and others built on the flat top of the mountain. Starting at the historic Harvey House, built in the 1930s, and acting as a museum, tours take visitors up to the Puye Cliff dwellings and back into the past. There are several different tours to choose from, some short, and some that let you explore the ruins from the foot of the mountain all the way to the top of the mesa. The Pueblo people were instrumental in the shaping of Santa Fe, and a visit to the Puye Cliff dwellings will give you much insight into their lives. Santa Fe Plaza Lying at the heart of the city is the iconic Santa Fe Plaza. First built when the city was founded, the plaza evolved from a simple market area into a vibrant hub of activity, where there's always something interesting going on and plenty to see. It's easily one of the best things to do in Santa Fe. One of the main draws to the plaza is shopping. Here you'll find authentic Indian and Spanish markets, selling art, jewelry, and an assortment of crafts. The surrounding area is filled with historical buildings, restaurants, cafes, and plenty of attractions. This means that the Santa Fe Plaza is the perfect place to start a day of exploring the city. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. And stick around for more of the best of Santa Fe. Go skiing. The state of New Mexico might not immediately make you think of pristine slopes and fresh powder, but Santa Fe is actually one of the best places to go skiing or snowboarding in the U.S. Considering six of the tallest peaks in the Rockies are located in the state, and the fact that Santa Fe is the highest state capital in the country by altitude, it's actually hardly surprising. The advantage to skiing in Santa Fe is just how close and accessible the ski resorts are to town. The easiest to get to is Ski Santa Fe, which offers 86 runs spanning 660 acres. The resort has trails for both beginners and experienced riders, and has plenty of ski lifts. And when you're done, hit up Totemoff's Bar and Grill to refresh and fill up. For those looking for more challenging terrain, Taos Ski Valley is just 90 miles from Santa Fe and offers steeper slopes and more dramatic runs across its 110 trails. Santa Fe Farmer's Market Every Saturday morning since 2002, a host of organic farmers, artisans, bakers, and more have been converging at the renovated Santa Fe rail yard to sell their wares. With so many seasonal fruits and vegetables and a sustainable business model to promote local sellers, the Santa Fe Farmer's Market is a great way to stock up and start your Saturday. Depending on the season, the Santa Fe Farmer's Market will be packed with bright and healthy assortments of farm produce, as well as other artisan goods like breads, cheese, oils, flowers, and more. This is a great place to grab breakfast and a coffee and connect with the locals while filling your basket. Local musicians also perform here, making this a lively activity. Just be sure to come early because this popular location fills up fast. Santa Fe Margarita Trail The word trail might imply hiking, trekking, or other kinds of grueling walks, but not this one. The Santa Fe Margarita Trail is a challenge in its own way, but it will be easier on your feet. Thirsty tourists first need to purchase a Margarita Trail paper passport from any downtown Santa Fe visitor center or an app. The challenge is to fill your passport with stamps. For each signature margarita you have, available at over 40 restaurants and bars, you get a stamp. 
Your passport gives you a $1 discount on each signature drink, and your stamps can be redeemed for prizes. There are over 40 margaritas to choose from in participating locations, and this unique drinking experience will give you equally unique bragging rights. With a myriad of world-class drinks to choose from, this is one of the best things for couples or friends to do in Santa Fe. Museum Hill Santa Fe is the oldest state capital in the U.S., so it's no surprise that history and culture are respected here, and nowhere is that more clear than at Museum Hill. Built around a sculpture garden, Museum Hill is a complex of four museums and a botanical garden, which are all worth paying a visit. First, in no particular order, is the Museum of Spanish Colonial Art, featuring the bright and iconic colors with bold designs this style is known for. Over 4,000 objects and art pieces are displayed here, giving a fascinating look into the first colonists of the area. The Museum of Indian Arts and Culture houses over 70,000 items, each representing Native American art and culture. This includes many exhibitions by leading First Nation artists. The Wheelwright Museum of the American Indian is another collection featuring historical and contemporary pieces. And finally, the Museum of International Folk Art is an award-winning collection of art, masks, textiles, toys, and more from around the world. This is actually the largest collection of folk art in the world. And before you leave Museum Hill, be sure to wander through the Santa Fe Botanical Garden. The landscape is filled with native flora and gives visitors insight into the natural vegetation of the area. Santa Fe National Forest One of the best things about Santa Fe is the nature. The city offers access to some of the best alpine forests in the southwest, and nature lovers or hiking enthusiasts will surely feel at home. The Santa Fe National Forest is located a scenic 40 minutes from the city, making it easily accessible for both day trips or a casual overnight stay. The forest is packed with natural attractions and worth visiting any season. Visitors can enjoy miles upon miles of unspoiled hiking trails in a range of difficulties, as well as trout fishing, camping, whitewater rafting, and skiing in the winter. And if that's not enough, visitors can explore a dormant volcanic crater in the Valles Caldera National Preserve, and even take a hike to the Macaulay Hot Springs. Meow Wolf To call Meow Wolf different is doing it a bit of a disservice. It's more accurate to say that Meow Wolf fully embodies Santa Fe's motto of the city different. It doesn't get more different, creative, eclectic, or otherworldly than Meow Wolf. This collection of artists is based in Santa Fe, but the name is also used to describe their most iconic piece in the city, the House of Eternal Return. It's a fun house and interactive work of art. Following a narrative through a sprawling and otherworldly house, visitors explore a landscape that is neon, colorful, imaginative, and dreamlike. The house is family-friendly, and visitors of all ages will be transported by this imaginative art installation. It's hard to describe, and pictures hardly do it justice. You'll have to visit yourself. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Santa Fe? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.